Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm just gonna go through the process of enabling the CCS adapter support for my Tesla Model 3 September 2021 build. Currently, the adapter support is not installed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open the trunk area where the charge controller is. We're gonna replace that, and then we're gonna go through the process of reinstalling or updating the software and uh, seeing, seeing how it turns out. All right, so the first things you need are the CCS adapter itself. Uh, I ordered this one through a website uh, I'll put in the description. Um, it took about a week to get here. I'm in Canada, and that was so it was really fast. Uh, the total for this with Canadian was around $400, um, and there was also some customs and duty fees, so I'll just keep that in mind. Uh, and, and then also the charge controller which I had to go to my local service center. Well, my local service center wouldn't sell me this, so I had to go to another one a little bit uh, further away, and they had no problem selling it to me. So just open this up. First thing you notice with this thing is it's super hefty, and the build quality is really, is really good, so uh, hopefully it'll last a long time without uh, any problems. And then uh, this, there's not much, not much to say about this. It's just a, uh, just got a chip in there and some connections. So just before we do anything, we're just gonna remove the negative terminal here just to cut off the low voltage. So you just take a 10 millimeter, take off the negative. Go and just make sure it's off to the side so it's not touching and it doesn't go back. So as a secondary precaution here, we're also gonna do, there's this tab here that you can open up the seat with and remove this foam or this uh, styrofoam pit, pit here. And then this little uh, switch. So we're just gonna remove this by pinching in this clip here, closing up, and then you'll hear the high voltage disconnect. All right, so we've opened up the trunk in the Model 3, and uh, we're gonna locate the charge controller, which is just behind the charge port, so driver's side, just in the back here. Uh, we're gonna have to move some trim. So we're just gonna remove this weather seal here. You don't have to remove the whole thing, just a little bit, just enough to get, get where you need. And then remove this, everything, most of everything pops right off, so it's not too bad. Just another angle of uh, what you need to remove here. This is the top trim here and the weather seal. So we're just gonna give you a close up here of what we have to remove. Pretty much just this clip here is, is uh, one of the clips that you gotta remove just to remove this trim here and get right behind in here. And also this light. When, uh, when we open this up, it'll have a connection that will need to be removed. So here's the light behind the trim here. We're just gonna have to remove this clip right here, and then we'll proceed after that. All right, in addition to this clip up here that we removed already, there is another clip down here that we're also gonna have to remove. So there's the ECU or charge controller that we're trying to replace. As you can see, it's just, you got a few connections there that we're gonna have to remove, which is easy, just, they're just clip offs and then a 10 millimeter, I believe, and we're gonna remove that right now. So we have both charge controller units here. And as you can see, this one has the last uh, few digits there, 80B-B, and this one is 00-B. So this is the updated one. We're gonna go ahead and install this now. You're gonna wanna make sure all your connections are in there strong. Just give them a tug, make sure they're all clipped in. And then the ECU charge cord controller should just slide into its position and then tighten her back up. Re-enable the high voltage connection here. and then reinstall the negative terminal here. Okay, so after the installation, I'm getting a software update required schedule service. And there's the code there. 
So from here, I'm gonna go to software and I'm gonna hold on the model three button here. And then you're gonna have a please enter access code. I'm gonna type in service and then you're gonna get a little mo uh, note there, enter. And there's service mode enabled. I've been told that uh, you need to be around a service center for this. Um, I'm about 20 to 30 minutes from a service center, so I'm not really sure how close you have to be or if that is actually a thing. So you're gonna have to hit install or software reinstall. So I'm gonna hit that and then request. That's what I'm given here. So after a few minutes, a uh, yellow clock and just in the top corner there will appear and then it'll, uh, you can request an update and then you're gonna get this countdown to update. While I'm waiting for the update, I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting things back together just because the update might take a little while. All right, so now we're back in the car, and uh, if you notice that the update has been completed, and there's the update notes there, and I'm not getting any more error messages anymore. I'm just gonna do a quick check, just to see. There you go, CCS adapter support enabled. So just, now we're gonna just hold the, uh, the name again, the Model 3. Up, open the access code uh, interface and type in service and that should take us out of service there you go all right so before we go and test this on a fast charger I'm just gonna double check and make sure my regular level 2 charging works go up to the screen here And we are charging. All right.